ok and snake part uh, this will uh, contain snake parts ok uh, I think you already know what is a vector class because we already write a vector class actually a very basic vector class already but uh, I hope you know that and this will be called snake this will represent the snake all of the part of the snake okay uh, we need a few private function which shouldn't be called from outside of the class just from the class so that's why we make them private this is the void put food and this simple just as I said uh, we'll calculate a position for the food which is not inside the snake and not inside the edge of the screen okay a boolean collision as I said it will uh, give true if you uh, go to the edge one of the edge so up down left or right edge or and this will uh, and this will set the get uh, boolean variable to true if it is the uh, go to uh, food and actually it uh, will return true if the snow, uh, snake goes to itself okay and we need another void move snake okay this is uh, this is just simple get the character and move the snake as I uh, showed you in the GIMP okay and actually that is the representation simple enough we have to just make all of these functions and uh, define all of these variables oh by the way what am I uh, what am I talking about we have a, a pub public port because else we cannot interact with this class so we need a constructor obviously oh not snake snake class uh, we need a destructor so snake class this uh, destructor will do uh, that use this end win so we will not forget it if there is uh, in it scr we have to use the end win and this will be in the destructor and it with a character so it will not automatically exit and we need a start function this is one function that we should call implicitly uh, actually explicitly outside of the class so this will start the entire snake game uh, it, it will it is actually just a, a while loop okay uh, now we just uh, in the C++ slide we just include the oh not this way because this is not a standard library or something we use the double quotation marks and this will tell the co uh, compiler to search the snake.h header file uh, inside that folder where the snake.cpp is no, snake.h okay um okay and actually let's get started so first thing is to uh, create the snake part constructor as you uh, so this first create this actually copy and paste the snake part okay and just simple make the Oh, oh okay just simple make the x equals the column and the row equal uh, y equal to row okay simple enough uh, we use we make the empty snake part uh, more simple than that than that so we just simple set to null and null simple enough okay and that was the boring part now the constructor comes in which is actually a pretty long constructor which is the longest constructor we ever write so snake class and snake class okay and uh, in here 
The first thing as we did with the earlier Encurses program is to initialize the screen. Okay, we will do this in the constructor because we will we know that the constructor will actually called first in the class. So before anything else, so it is perfect place for the init screen. Okay, uh, we need a few initialization things like no delay and we use the standard screen so std scr and we make it true okay as i said earlier uh, make a comment so we will not forget it so hmm, the prog uh, program not wait until the user press a key so uh, yeah, the program will not wait until the u until the user press a key. So if I don't press anything, so I don't even touch the keyboard. Uh, keyboard, the get ch uh, actually not the program. The get ch the get ch will not write, uh, not wait until I press something as it uh, do normally. Uh, instead, it just continue the program without any key and by the way uh, uh, this will preserve the last value of the direction okay we need to initialize the keypad as I said in the uh, last tutorial so std scr and this will make it true you can write it one obviously here and here too but never mind we, we write this way same thing. Okay, uh, initialize the keyword so we can use the function keys like F1, F2, F3, although we will not use them. And we can use the keyboard, so uh, uh, key up and key down, and you know, uh, we can use that. Okay, we know echo out, so if I press the W key, for example, then it will not write out uh, directly to the screen, although we can read it with uh, uh, ob uh, get ch obviously. Okay, and we set the cursor to invisible, so curse set zero or false. Never mind, uh, it is uh, the sna uh, same. So yeah. And we need one more uh, anchor test uh, uh, call, function call, and then we go into the real programming, not call functions. Okay, and, and this will be the get max y uh, x. So, get max, oh, get max y x, and we will uh, give the screen, so std str, as I told you, this this is the standard screen so we don't create a new window so uh, if we would then we would get uh, then we would write that here okay we use the height first and then the <coughs> width with oh with uh, uh -huh. so uh, yeah and this will w this was the last so um, again this will be initialized the anchor that's simple enough uh, no delay uh, we will not so the get ch will not uh, uh, wait until you press the key it will go anyway if you press the key then okay it will accept it if you don't press any key then okay you don't press any key i will continue the program okay i hope you this uh, is understandable the keypad I uh, we initialize the keyboard so we can use the uh, up key down up down key and so on so the arrows uh, in the uh, your keyboard okay do so echo if I press something it will not write directly to the screen although I can read I hope this is understandable and we turn off the cursor because the normally case as you can see as here the cursor is already on the screen and if we turn it off then this uh, blinking things just disappear okay uh, and we get the maximum width and the maximum height 
ok and uh, that's it alright uh, now we can start the actual programming ok uh, we have to first initialize a few variables so init a few variables ok we initialize the variables we uh, defined here so all of these actually these two so all of these we initialize them ok uh, so initialize the part char this will be what character do we want for the snake this will be just a simple x although I tried a lot of character but x look great uh, later, of course, when we uh, make a graphical user interface for this snake game with uh, FDL or something, then, of course, we use a rectangle to represent it, but it is the same. You, oh, you have to just change a few things and, yeah, you are there. You made a graphical user interface for that. I think maximum 10 minutes and you can make a graphical user interface for that game. Okay the next thing is the po uh, edge so what character do we want for the edge i call it older char uh, and this will be a character 219 so 219 okay uh, according to the f key table uh, this is this is a full rectangle so yeah it should be the same as the as this cursor okay and uh, that looks quite great uh, when I showed you the program I would you uh, I used the letter H which doesn't look as good as good as this all uh, as this uh, character although it should be good if I could use a character that a uh, perfect rectangle so uh, not so uh, long up or uh, something because that uh, looks great the X is uh, as height as width so yeah it is perfect uh, almost perfect okay uh, initialize the foo so as, uh, as you remember this is what character do we want for the few food this will be a star or asterisk uh, uh, what you what do you like better okay and actually I think this is a quite good character okay we initialize the food so food dot uh, x equals zero and food dot y equals zero this is just uh, to make sure that this is uh, zero so that writes the, some food somewhere in the screen although it shouldn't now we use the vector and we push five elements of it okay I've already tested out and I think the 40 characters is one of the best place uh, 40 and 45 is a good place to uh, put the snake part we use a for loop for that, so for int i equals 0, i less than 5 it will not go 5 but it does 0 so actually it is 5 element and we just increase it ok and we use the snake which is the vector if you remember this will represent the snake and we use the, the push back function ok uh, the push back if you recall it push an element back to an array and we will use uh, the, we, ca we create a new snake part object which we put the end of it and we just simple uh, oh not one i ok and we just simple put to the 40 pl uh, plus i so we put the, fir the first character to the 40 address uh, uh, in the x-axis and then the next in the 41, 42, 43 you, you simple enough so uh, yeah and actually we use the 10 
as the Y coordinate, so something like here on the terminal. But you already should know that because you already seen that 